So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I have a cowl for you. This is an easy level. The yarn is technically discontinued. It's Red Heart Color Scape. You still may have it in your collection but you can use any yarn where a six and a half millimeter uh, hook can go with it but you can also change the yarn as well. So there's a nice multiple in order to make this happen. We will explain that in order for you to do it. You will notice that the cowl neck area is a little more tighter than the rest of it. So you can see that it, it can go around her. It is 60 inches in circumference at the neckline. So it's very generous. So you can actually probably wrap it around uh, twice when you're going to wear this as well. So you can have it hang off the shoulder and etc. So the pattern repeat is in multiples of four. So if you like to change the size of this it's in multiples of four and what we have for you is a very very easy stitch. I actually did a bit of the sample while waiting for the barbecue for the other night when I was doing some dinner. So let's uh, begin and let's look at the sample that we're about to start and let's move on from that point. So here's what it looks like. This is just a smaller sample. I do have yarn left over. In order to do the edging you must finish on a round four in order to make it work and that's where I'm currently at. So I've just finished round four here so I can show you how to do the edging. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get ourselves started and rounds number three and four will repeat a total of four times after you do it the first time and then you're going to apply the edging. So you can see here when you did the chain it's a little more tighter with this. So this kind of like just skirts itself out which is really quite desirable and with this yarn is actually is amazing but again you can substitute the yarn if you wish. So each one of this is in multiples of four. So you'll notice that we're gonna chain 160 which is a multiple of four and that's what our journey is today. So I'm just gonna show you a little mini sample because the pattern uh, stitching on this is actually really quite simple. Now as I mentioned you can substitute the yarn so I'm just gonna go for Karen one pound today with a five millimeter size H hook. So because you know the multiples are four you can just change the number in the chain in order to make sure so it's either so make sure it is a multiple of four. So what you could do is that you could go one, two, three, four. The sample has you doing 160 stitches just to be clear. But then you can go one, two, three, four and then one, two, three, four. If you were doing the big 160 sample what I did is that I just did like this. I did maybe 10 uh, but here is a multiple of four. So I just gonna put the ending on here and I'm gonna put this back on. So therefore when I go to pull it through the final the chain will not be twisted. So I'm just gonna just ignore that. So just one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three and four. So if you're doing the main sample it's 160 and anybody else that would like to change it that's what you're gonna do. And once you're happy with the width of this then what you can do is just pull through both and the main ring has been secured. So that's what we're gonna start with round number one next. In round number one you're going to chain up one and in the one that you did the join with is you're going to be your first stitch. I would turn it over and get the back hump of the chain. It'll look nicer. And you wanna make sure that when you go around uh, this you're just gonna single crochet in the back hump of each one of the stitches. So that's what's making this a little bit tight um, in, in reference to the, the rest of the stitching gonna be um, skirting itself outward. So this is an awesome thing to do. At the end of the round I would recommend that you would count your stitches. Make sure it's still a multiple of four before proceeding. So single crochet in each one of the chains going around and I'll meet you back up at the other side in a moment. When you get back around make sure that this is not twisted in any way. So it takes a little more effort to be able to follow it around on a larger sample. So I'm making it look simple but uh, once you have that and I did confirm it's still a multiple of four I'm going to slip stitch. So make sure that this is not doing an infinity twist or twisted in any way. And we're going to begin round number two. So as we start round number two we're going to chain three which will count as your first double crochet and in the same one that you did the join you're going to apply the following two more double crochet. So one and two but you're not quite done. You're going to then chain four. One, two, three and four and then you're going to treble into that same stitch. So wrap the hook twice and into the same. So there's a lot going on there. 
this is what the stitch is completely all the way through. So you're gonna skip three. So one, two, three, go to the fourth and then do that all over again. So it's going to be three double crochet. So we have one, two, and three. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and treble into the same one. I'll show you one more time and you're gonna do that around. So skipping three, go to the fourth and place in three double crochet. So we have one, two, and three, and then chain four. So one, two, three, four, and then treble into the same one. And I want you to do that all the way around please and I'll see you at the end of the round in a moment. So eventually you're gonna come around it. It's obviously gonna be much bigger but you'll finish with the treble and you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain three to finish. And you can see that in this sample too like this round is a lot uh, wider than the original so it does like bell itself out or skirt itself out. So let's begin and we're gonna move on to round number three which will be then um, the repeating. So three and four is the repeat. So right where we're sitting is the wrong space to be sitting. So we wanna get to this chain four so we're gonna slip stitch our way there first and go right into that chain four and slip stitch. Right where you're sitting is where we're going to start. So you're going to then chain eight which will count as the first treble and a chain four space. So one, two, three, four, that's the treble and five, six, seven and eight and that's the chain four space. So look at it from a bent over position like this. Sorry it's blurry. Okay so what you wanna do in this chain four space you wanna put in three more double crochet. You're doing exactly what you were doing before but instead of a, a physical stitch you're going into you're going right into this big space and that's what makes this really fast. So it'll be three double crochets there. So to start the next one you're gonna reach on over and you are going to apply a treble. So go right over to the next space and treble and then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then in the same space three more double crochet and I'll show you one more time. Okay so when you're ready the next space is where you're gonna go. So you're gonna wrap twice, go into the space for a treble chain four and then two more double crochet into the same spot or sorry three double crochet in that same spot. I need you to do that all the way around and this is round number three and I'll be back in a moment. When you get back around you got your three double crochet in here so you need to attach to the fourth chain. So you're just gonna slip stitch to the fourth chain there and then that will pull that in like that. So let's begin the fourth round. So we need to get ourselves to this space here. So we're gonna slip stitch to the space and then that's where the story is gonna begin for number four. So you're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet and in the same space you wanna put in three or sorry two more double crochet. There's a total of three there. Then you have to chain four, one, two, three, four and in the same space you are going to apply a treble. So it's exactly what you were doing but you're just doing it opposite. Do you see that? So you're gonna reach to the next one and you're going to apply three double crochet first this time. So one, two, and three and then chain four and then one treble into the same spot. So you're gonna do this all the way around. So I'll show you one more time. So next space, three double crochet And chain four, so one, two, three, four, and then one treble into the same spot. Please do that all the way around. That's number four. When you get all the way around, you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain three, and that will conclude that. So when you're ready to go again, you're just going to repeat three and four um, a, additional five or sorry, additional four more times. So you gotta do three and uh, sorry, three and four one more time and then again, again and again. So just to recap, 
if you're continuing on you gotta go back to number three. So you got a slip stitch to the space and then you chain your eight and then three, do three double crochet in there and then you come in to the next one and you were going to treble, chain four and then three double crochet. It's, so it's exactly what you already know. But when you're ready to finish you're going to finish off on a row, our round number four. So we've just done that here so I'm gonna show you how to finish this when you're ready. When you're ready to finish all you just need to do this, and this is uh, number four that's sitting here you're just gonna slip stitch to the next space that's available to you. Here you're going to then chain four. So one, two, three and four and you're going to apply four double crochets into that same space. So one, two, three and four. And once you're done that you're gonna come to the next space. You're going to slip stitch first. So it's gonna pull it in then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then four more double crochet. So one, two, three and four and then come to the next space slip stitch in chain four is one, two, three, four and four double crochet and you'll do that all the way around and this is the edging round and I'll be back in just a moment. So once you come all the way around you are just going to then slip stitch to the first um, stitch. So you're just gonna come on down and do go right into the slip stitch and that will keep it looking even. So then you're just going to fasten this off and I'll show you just with a tapestry needle. So any uh, loose ends that you will have uh, throw it through a tapestry needle. Turn it to the inside of the project so you can weave that in and throw that in. It is a wearable so you wanna take care of the, those ends especially if you're giving it as a gift. Can be done in a lot of great different yarns. So just drag it through and when you pull don't change the shape of anything. So make sure it's taut but not pulling on anything. And then go through a slightly different path back and then a new path the third time. So make sure that you take care of any loose ends that you will have using the same method and cut it right down into the project and you're good to go. So I still have to do that first end but that's what it would look like in miniature format and that's pretty cool. So that's it for today. This is the Roundabout Cowl by Yarnspirations.com.